Hello everybody, this is Rollo with Winbros. In this video presentation, we're going to show you one of many uh, ways that you can organize your DAS 3D content on your local hard drive. This is a nine step procedure and it's going to, you'll find it's quite handy. Uh, we like to, uh, like you to watch the whole presentation before you actually attempt to do it. Uh, you can go back and uh, re-watch it or we'll have it on our website for those who want to read it there. Uh, the biggest reasons you might want to uh, consider making a local uh, copy of your content library is because if DAS discontinues a product, uh, you can still download the files. However, the product page won't be available anymore, so you won't be able to read about the features. And also, um, it, sometimes it comes in handy to have access, direct access to the zip file. So if you need to find something where it's buried in your uh, content library uh, in DAS Studio. The uh, first step is to uh, create a master directory, uh, preferably on your uh, second hard drive, but if you don't have a second hard drive, uh, you can do it on your primary drive, and we'll show you how to do that. We're going to be doing all this presentation in Windows. Uh, we apologize if uh, you're a Mac user. Hopefully you can follow along. You can see here we, uh, we're on our D drive. We have a second drive in our system. And so what we're going to do first is uh, create a place to keep all of our content. So we're going to create a new folder. And for us, we're going to call it 3D-Content. You can name it whatever is good for you for your collection of uh, 3D content. So we went ahead and used that. And then we're going to go into that. So that's the first step to have a master directory for all your uh, files. Uh, the second step is going to decide uh, what uh, web browser you want to use. Uh, of course, we like to use two different web browsers at the same time because it makes it simpler to go into the product library at DAS3D and also to uh, capture the uh, promo images. And for the demonstration, we're going to be using Edge for Microsoft uh, Windows 10 and also uh, Google Chrome because it does support a drag and drop of images off the pop-ups. So to get started, you're going to need to uh, go to the DAS 3D site, which is www.das3d.com, and you're going to need to uh, log into your account. And then you're going to, once you log in your account, you're going to go to the product library to find uh, your products that you purchased. If you don't have an account, we recommend you go ahead and get you one. They're free, so that when free items are available, you can grab those, or if you see something that's on sale you want to buy, you can do that too. So once you get to the DAS site, uh, you get logged in. You click the little man figure here on the top and you'll click my account and then you, once you get to there you'll click on this product library button which will take you to all the products that you have purchased uh, at DAS 3D. What we like to do is capture uh, the image of the medium sized product image that's available in the uh, products library. Uh, and so what we do is you need to go to your list uh, for the product you're downloading. You want to click it in the list and for this we're going to be using the uh, cartoon parrot uh, from DAS 3D and we'll show you how to do that in the product library. So we're scrolling down here and we're going to look for here's the cartoon parrot for DAS Studio and that's a product we're going to be demoing in this uh, video and there you can see cartoon parrot for DAS Studio. So while we're here the first thing we like to do is we're going to make a kid a copy of this image and keep it in our master directory even though we're going to have subdirectory for the actual product so we like to highlight and select this and copy it the title. Now you don't have to do that. You can actually manually type it. So we're going to right click on this image. We're going to save this picture as. Then we're going to browse to our uh, 3D content right there. And there we are inside it. And we're just going to make this image. We're going to paste the name right here. So it uh, has a small copy here in the master directory. And we'll save that there. And once that's done, what you're going to want to do is you want to scroll down and you're going to want to uh, Look for the any product files. This only has one. So we're going to go ahead and click the download button on that. And we're going to go save as. And you can see it came up here in our master directory again. However, this time, before we do anything, we're going to create a new folder to hold all of our product uh, files, the zips. And then we're going to go ahead and paste the name back in there that we used before. And we'll hit enter twice so we can enter it. And you can see now we're inside the cartoon parrot for DAS Studio. We didn't touch the file name at all. If you accidentally do, just cancel and go back and do another save as. Uh, download save as, excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and save that into there. And if you want, you can watch it downloading on the right uh, as it downloads in whatever your browser is. You might have to use a, a different way of looking at it, but this is how Edge works. And as you can see, we uh, went back into our master directory here, 3D content. 
you can see we actually have the uh, the folder for that product and then this miniature image which is 350 by 455 uh, small it doesn't take very much size this is only like 28k uh, and then we'll go ahead and go in this folder and you see now there's the zip that we've completed the download for so we're gonna move on to the next step the next step is you're gonna want to create a uh, PDF version of the uh, excuse me you're going to want to create a PDF version of the product page. Now you don't have to do that, you can skip the step. But the reason we like this is because sometimes you can't recall all the features that are included with the product. And uh, if the product is ever discontinued, that product page will no longer be available even though you can still download the product from your product library. So we'll show you uh, how to do that uh, back here in the product library page uh, for the Parrot. Here we are again. You'll see somewhere on this page, you'll see a little view product store page. So, what you can do is right click and copy that link, or whatever your browser method is to copy that link. And then, what you we're going to go, we're going to use a separate browser. We're going to go back to Chrome now, and we'll show you that we've already pulled this up. There you go. And here's the actual product page at DAS 3D. And you see all the features at the bottom, a uh, little description here, and then, of course, you can see all these promo images. So you'll want to get to that point. And once you get there, we'll just we're going to use the Google Chrome to go ahead and do a print and we'll set it up to use save as PDF. Of course, it's already there. So we're going to just go ahead and save it and then we're going to put it in our product page or in our folder we created for Car Cartoon Parrot. And we like to call this product page.pdf and we just use that for every product page cuz they're all going to be in their own subfolders for the actual product. So then we do that uh, just so we capture all this information in case we want to refer to it later. Uh, maybe we want to remember how much it originally cost or how much we might have paid for it. There's a lot of reasons you might want to do PDF, but you don't have to. And here we've gone back to our product uh, folder we created for Cartoon Parrot. And you see there, indeed, is the PDF inside there now. So that completes how to create a PDF copy of the product page. So the next step is you're going to want to capture any of the promo images and you don't have to do this too but we like doing this so that we can see uh, the promos later on if we need to uh, if we're browsing around looking for our products and want to see what it, how it looks before we actually load it into DAS Studio which can sometimes be time consuming especially to get a render. So we like using Google Chrome like we said earlier because it uses the drag and drop feature. It's pretty easy and we'll show you how we do that uh, into the folder that we created uh, straight from Google Chrome. So you can see here we have Google Chrome side by side with uh, in, uh, Windows Explorer and we're still in our folder Cartoon Parrot. So what we're going to do first is we're going to click on this uh, main image here in the Cartoon Parrot on DAS Studio and if you, you see it pops up, <coughs> excuse me, you can see that an image window pops up. So now uh, that's one of the reasons we like Google Chrome is we can just click this image and we can drag it over here and drop it into our folder. Then, of course, we can just click this little right arrow to the right, and we can do this for every image that's available, all the promos that are on the page. And when we get to the end, there will be no more right arrows, so we'll know we're at the last image. So we can just keep dragging them over. Quite a few images here, which is good. Gives you a chance to see what the product's going to look like before you load it into Desk Studio. And there you go. We successfully captured all the promo images. So now that we have no more right arrow, we know we're at the end. We can just close this little window. And now we can go back. And there's the, uh, we're back on the DAS 3D site. So the se step seven is if everything went according to plan and went work properly for you, you should have all your zips, your image files, and your description file, which is the PDF, all inside the folder for that product which you downloaded. We'll go ahead and show you a live version. Here's our uh, here's our folder that contains actually all those products. So you can see we got all our image files. There's the zip file, and then of course there's the product page PDF we created. In case we want to see some of the information later, like the cost and the the features and the description of the product. Now some people f might want to uh, rename the uh, the image files because they are quite lengthy. Uh, but we have found over time that it's not really value added to rename them because the, pro, the, pro, the the biggest thing is get those images onto your hard drive or your or hard, where you're going to store them uh, so that you can look at them later and they're all numbered basically uh, 
separately so that you don't have to worry about them uh, having the same file names. If you want to, you can rename them. But after years of cataloging our uh, products we purchased, we have dis we've discovered that eh, it's really not practical to rename them. Uh, you can see how this one here is quite a long file name. You might want to name it Picture Zero or something like that. But like I said, we found that it's easier just to get the, get the images, keep them in the folder that belong to the product, and it works best that way. And the last thing, step nine, that you might want to think about is backing up all your stuff. Um, we like uh, the using the external hard drive. So if you do, you keep them on just like your main drive, or if you have a second drive in your computer, and occasionally you might want to copy them over to an external hard drive, just so that uh, if something happens to your main drive that you stored them on. If it gets corrupted, or you have to reformat it or reinstall your operating system, uh, you don't lose all these files and have to go through all this process again. Uh, the other a method is you can use CDR or DVDR uh, or something similar to that if you like. We just like the the hard drive external hard drive solution because, uh, <coughs> excuse me, because of the uh, occasional product updates. So then we can easily copy the zip files over the existing ones in the library. Uh, whereas with the CDR DVDR, you got to reburn those. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation on organizing your DAS3D content on your local computer. Uh, if you are interested in this, uh, please visit our website, uh, www.winterbros.com, for other products we offer. Or you can go to DAS3D.com and uh, search for our store. And we have a product there called Content Cataloger Easy, which uh, is a Windows version uh, software that helps you to uh, track down all the products that you have purchased and installed on your computer but um, so we hope you enjoyed this video presentation hope you've got some useful information out of this we will be posting this on our website also so if you forget some of the text you can go back and read it on our website have a good day